The seven star Feraligator Terror event is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In today's video, we'll go over the fastest solo build for you to take this down in game and farm for Herba Mystica while the event is running. Feraligator will be appearing for its first time out from the 1st of November until the 3rd and returning for its second time out from the 8th until the 10th. The second time out, we will be returning with Blissey Terror Raid events. So giving you a good opportunity to farm for Terror Shards if there's something you need in game. If you do need to access this event, come into your menu screen, then into Poker Portal, then into Mystery Gifts, come down into Check Poker Portal News. This will just connect you with the internet, update your Paldea map so your Terror Raid event dens are updated and that 7 star Terror Raid event will appear. So the build in today's video is going to be Coriadon. It is going to be a fighting Terror type. It has the held item of the Expert Belt. It is going to be level 100 and also Hyper Train. The moveset is going to be Break and Swipe, Bulk Up, Sunny Day and Drain Punch. And the ability is Oracle Compulse and the EV spread is going to be 252 EVs in HP and Attack with an Adamant nature build will be down in the description below if you want to take a look at it but we'll jump into the raid now i'll show you how quickly and easily it can be to take down for alligator with Coridon. so we come into the raid the oracle compulse will activate the sun will be on the field that will weaken the liquidation that's going to come out from the for alligator we're going to see that turn zero of a swords dance like we know boosting its attack by two stages but thankfully we do have some kind raid partners with intimidate that's going to nullify that but whatever the situation we're going to lock in with breaking swipe turn one that's going to lower the attack stat on the frolicate every time you use it and it chips down at our terrestrialization counter as well so we're going to utilize that from turns one to four until we can terrestrialize basically you see our terrestrialization orb energy being stolen there by the frolicate so it does mean we have to take an extra turn before we can terrestrialize but like i say from turn one to four which is going for that breaking swipe we we're looking for that 80 percent of the hp remaining on the frolicator to hit before we can start setting ourselves up with our bulk ups to expedite the damage in this raid and make things very quickly for us. This is going to utilize things like Ice Punch as well. It does have Psychic Fang as well, so something else for us to worry about. But because we're lowering that attack stat on the Feraligator so much, it's not really going to be putting us under any pressure going forward in this match. So you can see. We have used that one to four and we can terrestrialize now and this turn we're just going to go for a drain punch here because we can get some health back which is going to be useful for us to set up in the rest of the raid of course we are going to be a pure fighting type going forward we are going to have that increased damage output from our fighting type attack moves but the healing properties of drain punch as well and then after this drain punch it will activate our stats and abilities being dropped on our side of the field like i say that's what we're looking out for next uh, before the shield goes up and this is the turn here and now we can start bulking up going forward the feraligator isn't going to nullify its stats on its side of the field for a little bit yet so we we've got a little bit of room where it's still going to be hitting for not very much damage of course it's just firing out those ice punches Sunny Day has left the field, but we can just start going for those bulk ups now. And we're going to be boosting our attack and our defense by one stage every time we do that. And basically, we're going to be going for plus six if we can. Um, and then if we are low health at any stage during the raid, we just go for a bulk up uh, a drain punch just to recover health off if we need to. But primarily, once we get to plus six, we're going to be able to go all out and close this raid up pretty quickly. The raid timer in a good position now. So you're going to have no trouble doing this with Crydon. There is an alternative build on the channel, of course, with Clefable. You don't have access to Crydon if you may be a Violet player. So there is an alternative build, but this one is definitely a lot faster and will make things a lot easier for you. So if you are and you haven't got those Intimidators on your side of the field, your health is low while you're going for these bulk ups, just use a Drain Punch in between turns and then you'll be able to just recover your health off and kind of get those remaining bulk ups off but it is going to be a little time consuming this part but once you've done it you're going to fly through the raid after this no trouble at all so this is number five and one more after this and then we are all fully set up and ready to go of course when the for alligator does nullify its stat boosts on drops on its side of the field then it will be hitting a little bit harder it is going to fire off a earthquake at some point and it will go for a dragon dance as well but because we're plus six defense we're not going to have to worry about that at all this is the final bulk up that we need and now we're going to be ready to go for those drain punches and you'll be able to see the damage output that we'll be able to do with this plus six drain punch that we're going to be able to lock in onto the frolligator and now 
just above 50% of the raid timer here, we're going to be able to start making some big waves and cut through this pretty quickly. You can go for an all-out attack here if you want to expedite the damage even more, but it's not really necessary. There's the turn when the frog get and negates stack drops. It's going to hit a bit harder, but you, you can see even after it negates those, it's not really going to be doing too much. And I think it just helps that we have those Intimidate partner and Pokemon that you're likely going to have, not all the time, but some of the time, you're going to be able to have next to you but the Crydon makes the Frogator a real real easy one for us to to go through this weekend if you are wanting to farm for a Mr. Care in particular I know a lot of you do like to do that with the seven star terrain events then the Crydon's probably the pick of the lot right now that you would have the best chance of doing that with over this weekend while it is running and of course it will be returning the following weekend with the Blissey Raids Right, I'm going to be a good one to bring into those Blissey Raids if you want to farm for Terra Shards as well. So, one more Drain Punch after this. Two more will be enough to finish up the raid. And there's the shield gone. And one more after this, like I say, will be enough to clean it up. And we've got plenty of time left on the raid timer as well. So, a very good option if you are looking for one to quickly run through the Feraligator this weekend. And you're not going to have any trouble. I mean, the Intimidators do help. But regardless, the strategy works. Just follow exactly what we did in this raid battle and you're going to have no trouble at all beating for alligator when this event is running over the weekend and of course let me know if you've caught it for the first time or what ball you caught it in i got mine in a beast ball but a lure ball's a nice option as well sweet herba mystica and some other good item drops if you want to respawn your seven star terror on your map hit your home menu come down into your system settings then down into system and dating time make sure your synchronized clock where the internet is off click into date and time options toggle through hit ok Hit your home menu, come back into the game and all your dens will respawn and you'll be able to find yourself the seven star terror raid, wherever it is on your map. There it is. And head over to it and rinse and repeat with Crydon. If you found the build in today's video useful, please do consider dropping a like on the video and do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. If you've got your own builds that you had a lot of success with, drop them in the comment section below. I look forward to reading through them and seeing what you guys have had more success with over this weekend. But thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a lot of fun with the Frolligator while it's running. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.